This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Hi, good evening and welcome to the Sports Friday. I'm Julian Gibson coming to you from my new home, Sandals Royal Bohemian. Well, Anton Richardson, he's home after playing a number of games with the New York Yankees. Uh, Charles Fisher, he used to pull for the New York Mets. He's now a New York Yankee now. He caught up this morning with Anton. Back home after spending September playing in the Bronx, Anton finally able to relish in the experience. Um, the game of baseball is a fun game and it's a game, so it's really fun. So um, to keep it as simple as possible, it was just a really fun time. Um, enjoyable. I wish we won a, a lot more games, um, so we had a chance to be playing still in October, but um, it, was a, it was a fun month of September. Richardson had his breakout series against the Baltimore Orioles live on Major League Baseball Fox Saturday. I got a chance to get my first 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 career start in Baltimore, which, um, which I was thankful for and I was able to get a couple hits. Um, we actually won one or two games there. Um, so yeah, it was a good, it was a good, it was a good time, good experience. I, I wished um, we could win a couple more games on that on that on that uh, road trip. You know, unfortunately, we fell a little short, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes in this sport. From the moment he was called up, manager Joe Girardi showed he had faith in the speedster. Seeing me in spring training a little bit, I think he had a confidence in me in being able to execute um, in those situations, and um, I think he called my number quite a bit and in, in some key moments. And um, I'm glad that he showed that confidence in me, and I'm glad I was able to deliver deliver when he did, did call my name. The highlight of his brief stint was inking his name in Yankee history, scoring on Derek Jeter's last hit in New York. Last game was the first time, the last game in Yankee Stadium was the first time in my whole career I felt like a fan. Um, and it was, you know, the emotions in the stadium that day from the fans, the players, even Derek himself, you know, it was, um, it's just a different, a different feeling in the air that night, you know, we, um, and, and the way it ended, it, it seemed, you know, it was a fairy tale. It was a fairy tale. I'm just glad that I could be uh, one of the supporting actors in, in, that, in that fairy tale. Next, we will talk to Anton about what's ahead for him on a possible return to the New York Yankees. For Zedna's Toll Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. Shifting gears, government senior boys, volleyball action taking place yesterday at the Donald Davis Gym. C.I. Gibson Rattlers, but they only needed two sets to get past the Doris Johnson Mystic Marlins. Uh, we played bad the other day, but we come out today and get the victory over the Doris Johnson. But I think we could have played better. It looked like it was pretty easy, all one and two sets. Uh, I guess, but we still have to work hard, come out next time harder, and play better. We perform good. Our coach tell us go there and ask you, don't they know them for granted, even though they can't serve the ball back over. And we play well. Shifting gears, women, they are taking over the workplace, the home, the schools, even sports. Bahamas Olympic Committee Executive Cora Hebbain, well, she talks about women development in sports in the country. We have been quite active as, um, for women in sports because, you know, women now, you are seeing so much achievement and success with women in sports. You know, we are not like the other countries who have been having problems with even having women compete. We were fortunate enough that we always compete in sports. But um, as, so as far as that is concerned, we are fine with that. But we just need to continue to bring awareness to these young women and to showcase what they can do and what women are good for. And finally in sports, our Charles Fisher plans to return to track and field to those glory days when he dominated the sprints. And tonight he is speaking to a doctor as to what he will really need to regain that speed. Some of the technology and the equipment and products that we use have all been tested, proven. We don't use any company that has not met the standards uh, of the um, drug federations and even the guidelines. Uh, it's just, like I said, you're competing against science now and the science is that most of our kids are at a disadvantage. And the owners do not only fall on the athletes, now the therapist, the coach, the manager, everybody's going to get penalized. Yeah, everyone. See, the thing is, is that someone has to be held accountable. If the athletes don't know, then they're relying on the discipline of the one who's providing the service. And this is one of the reasons why our company is always leading the way in terms of what needs to be done. So coaches and athletes and even parents, this, this, the workshop on Friday night is open up to the parents as well. Well, Charles, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I believe if anybody can make a return to track and field, it is you. Well, that's all the time for Sports on a Friday. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Tonight continues after the break.
This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.